Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor. Today we've got a fun Friday. Just like last week, we had a Hellcat. This week we've got a TRX. We've got Nathan, Alyssa, myself. We're gonna spend the next hour or so throwing around this mighty beast. We've already had a ton of fun with it, as you can see from all the various speckles of mud. Believe it or not, we actually cleaned this earlier today and then managed to get it dirty right away again because that's what you ought to do when you own a cool, awesome, capable vehicle such as this. Now, if you're watching after the fact and you want to join in live next time, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification so you get alerted when we're going live. We typically do things Tuesdays and Fridays. We had to do a little bit earlier today, 2 p.m. Eastern time but typically 4 p.m. or you know, sometime later in the day, try to get as many people to watch as possible. So we're gonna start a little bit early, kinda ease into it, let people tune in, and then we'll get to your chats and we'll go out and get on the road. 6.2 liter supercharged V8 here in the TRX. This is pretty much the Hellcat motor, but because it's not a Dodge, they don't call it a Hellcat, just like in the Jeep, it's not called a Hellcat, it's the Trackhawk. Here it's the TRX. Now TRX is supposed to sound like T-Rex, and that's because T-Rexes eat raptors. Ram directly went after the Ford Raptor with this thing, specifically targeted it, and I think they did a pretty darn good job. What do you think? I think they did a fabulous job. It, you know, I was always a Raptor person. Between the Raptor and the Rebel, I always went for the Raptor, and now this has stolen it for me. Well, it's been, it's been a long time since you've been in a Raptor, but they, they've each got their pros and their cons, and I will say, when Ford gets around and gets off their butt and starts putting a V8 in the Raptor, close there, uh, <laughs> then it'll be a lot closer. This thing has a pretty unique feel. I mean, the sound that that, that engine makes is pretty darn mean. This is why I like it more than a Raptor. 6.2 supercharged V8, that's the only reason why. It is pretty darn mean. I'll pop the end, pop the hood right now, but you actually can't see it all too much without <laughs> getting way down there. Uh, oh, nice job. I got some uh, paper towel do on it. No, it's <laughs> Raptor casualties, or rebel casualties. Oh, jeez. So that's Somebody just a big is. plastic thing, but Here, take that. up underneath, you can see the engine speckled with dirt and mud right now. Beautiful. Mm-hmm, tucked way down in there. Liz, can you reach the hood? <laughs> so, five foot two prospective Rebel TRX owners. You are um, always so generous, I'm five one. Five one? Five foot nine. I cannot. I don't want to get too close because I'm wearing nice clothes and I don't want to get muddy. I can just get my fingertips on it, can I pull it? This thing is big. It's it's hard to really show the pure size of it. When you're driving it around, you feel like you're up at the same height as semi-trucks practically. <laughs> we even had this in the driveway next to a Toyota Tundra TRD and it made that truck look small. And that doesn't often look tiny. I can even get my head in the gap. Let's yeah, look at all that shock travel. <laughs> I'm gonna have mud on my ears. <laughs> Beautiful. Get a close up on these tires over there in the sunlight. Yeah, these are beefers. 18 inch wheels, but I don't know the size of the tires, but they're giant. So giant. 325 65 R18s. They're wide, they're tall, they're thick, and this truck has yet to meet its maker. We're actually taking this out to Silver Lake Sand Dunes tomorrow with the Topher, and that's going to be a whole hoot holler and a half. But for now, we've just been getting it muddy around our off-road sections. And speaking of that, if we just get $20 in total donations today, or only $10 in the cash app, we will hoss this thing off-road. We'll get it nice and dirty again. That money's pretty much just gonna pay for our gas, maybe, as well as a good car wash. Look at these big exhaust pipes. Nathan and I did the review earlier today, and we got out the high-quality microphones and stood back here. This is possibly the loudest vehicle that I've ever had. It sounds so good from the back. So we'll fire it up here soon and let you all hear that. One thing uh, I noticed earlier, this is obviously specific to this truck, but this exhaust tip is silver and that one is black. Yeah, who knows why? We don't know if one got damaged or if it came off the factory floor that way, but it is pretty silly. 
We got some chats. Yeah, say hello to Andrew the Panda. Hey, Panda. Bradley Leacock. Hey, Brandy. Mohammed Bradley. and Abraham Roy and George and now Mannix. Hey, everybody. Hey, guys. Got a whole crew tuning in. Hopefully, our regulars will, will be able to tune in, get Moran and Yas and Pittsburgh Man. I know we're a little early compared to usual, but had some scheduling conflicts. You know, Fridays, that gets tough. But we got to get out to the west side of the state and get this thing in the hands of the Topher so that he can go and he's gonna do some camping tonight, well, camping tomorrow night, and uh, get it out into the dunes. Mm -hmm. So I think we're well past two o'clock. Let's take a look at the interior and then we'll start it up and get driving. One thing that is so remarkable about not only all Ram trucks, but even the, this TRX, is just how luxurious it is inside. Even in the back seat, you've got heated and ventilated seats in the rear. Two USB A's, two USB C's, a wall style outlet. You've got Alcantara everywhere. You've got these cool little hook things you can put tools in, or I don't know what else you'd put in there. Under back here, nice big armrest that you can see has gotten dirty. Alcantara, grippy cup holders, 19 speaker Harman Kardon sound system. We've got a dedicated review to that coming. Just looking around this cabin, I mean, we just had that F-150 Limited a few weeks ago, and this thing feels like a luxury vehicle next to that. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. There's so many gadgets up front. Everything is so shiny. Everything looks so uh, high quality and pristine. Yeah. I love that. You all might be having a hard time seeing the contrast of everything with this bright sunlight, but it really does look the part. And I kind of like how they did a mostly black look. Although I would, I will say if there were some red cross stitching and stuff, that would look sweet. Ooh, yeah. 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 A little more red accent. Maybe if the truck was red. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> Could be. Mm -hmm. Cool. Nathan, is there any more, any more you have to say? Not really. It's very nice. Uh, very luxurious pickup truck, which it should be considering its price point. Would you rather have them drop it down by six grand or so and make it a little more cheap feeling inside no. here? No, you like that they went with the, yep. the premium? How expensive is this truck? Starts at 70. This one runs about 90 grand. Yep, $90,000. Like I love how big and spacious the cabin is. Mm -hmm. It's so nice. Although I would definitely sacrifice a foot for a longer, a longer bed. bed. Yeah, we couldn't even fit a, a fat tire bicycle on the back without taking a wheel off. I mean, I think maybe if we finagled it just right, we might have been able to get it, but it was a pain. Climbing up in the front, you can see just how huge this is. Thank goodness they have this handle that's leather wrapped, I should say. Feels really nice. Actually, uh, Nathan, I'll give this to you and uh, you can go do some exhaust. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, three foot drop. Oh. That is an unbelievable raw V8 sound. It's incredible how loud they made that. It's awesome. It doesn't seem that loud from in here. It's just like, oh, this is meaty. It seems but loud from in here. When you yeah. stand in the back behind it, yeah. it's it like makes your heart jump. <laughs> the only the only car I can think that's louder and possibly better sounding is the GT350. Uh, you can put it. You can put it right here in the Ram Charger. There we go. Uh, That's a wireless device charger. Nice. Yep. Signal's not super fantastic for some reason, but let's get cruising. Hopefully it'll pick up. Yep. Yep, yep. So, like I said earlier, if we get get some donations going, that'll help us pay for this bad boy because we have been averaging, let's see here, 7.4 miles per gallon That's of insane. premium gas. <laughs> That's awful. Pretty much every seven miles or so, we're dumping about four bucks into this thing. So every bit of donation goes a really long way, helping us do these sort of live drive things. And we will take it not only down this kind of higher speed off-road section, get it wet and muddy, but we've also got the more hardcore section we can take it down as well. So if we break $20 in total donations, we'll do that. And for every new donor, we will do a launch control. Oh yeah, that's, I was just going to ask you, because mm -hmm. we have a bunch of new people in the chats. Cool. And I'll read them off. Manix is new. Goku Boku is new. I love that name. Goku Boku. <laughs> 50 grand for a truck seems crazy. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, but there yeah. really aren't too many trucks that can do this. That's for sure. Oh my gosh. Bradley 
says, I own a Hyundai Sonata N-Line, and he wonders if he can beat this in a race. Huh. Yeah, you know, we just had the Sonata N-Line not too long ago, and uh, I doubt Very this much. this would put this would put that to shame. That's for sure. This thing is pretty darn fast. Like I said, we'll do a launch control as soon as we get our first donation, and go from there. And we don't typically beg for don donations here, but this thing has just been. I mean, even just doing our mini fuel economy test, it's taken some uh, some serious coin. Right. full throttle and then you get off it you feel the whole truck really settle can. back down yeah. like you're in a boat. Right. Huh. That's awesome. Oh Goku says I wish I could donate but I'm not 18 yet. Aww. Aww. Well you could sign up on the cash app. If you sign up using the cash app and you use our code that's in the description of the video you'll get I think a free five or ten bucks and we'll get a free five or ten dollars using our code. So you can donate without actually spending any money by signing up for the cash app. Daily motor. What's your opinion comparing this to the Tundra? The Tundra feels very old school. It's one of the oldest full-size trucks at this point. It's it's gonna have a refresh very soon. This feels this is like the top end of luxury for trucks. The Tundra is like the bottom end of luxury for full-size trucks. That being said, Nathan and I reviewed a Tundra TRD Pro last year, and it still has a good amount of character. It's still fun. What would you say, Nathan, between the two? Um, two completely different vehicles. Like you said, this is all about luxury. The Tundra is your very traditional pickup truck. And in a lot of ways, the Tundra feels very good in that sense because it, it just feels so much more old school and like you can actually do more normal truck stuff with it. Yeah. If this were not the TRX version of the Rebel, or of the Rebel Ram, I would feel really nervous and bad about like just mm -hmm. being rough on it. Whereas a Tundra, that TRD Pro felt very solid, very sturdy. And then if you slap a supercharger on it, which we've experienced, you still get the good sounds. And it's fairly fun to throw around. And honestly, when you're on like three quarter throttle or so, they both feel about equally fast. I bet you that Tundra's a lot lighter than this truck. So, I mean, the Tundra does what? The supercharged one to zero to 60 in like uh, five seconds or so, Nathan? Is that right? Uh, the Tundra? 4.4 seconds. 4.4. Right, and this is probably only like 4 seconds or so. So, it's still, they still both feel very quick. Pretty sure this is 3.5. Really? Yeah. Well, if we get a donation, we'll uh, we'll do a 0 to 60 launch and we'll time it. See what we It'll get. It'll be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We just need a dollar for that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. One or, buccarino. Or, or in the case of, um, Bella DJ, just like 24 cents. <laughs> now, it's not exactly a great highway cruiser. Not only does it get horrendous fuel economy, but it's wandery and it's loud. But mm -hmm. you've got to pay to play. You've got to make some sacrifices to having right. all this off road ability. You did that your fuel economy test for this yesterday. What did you get? 14 miles per gallon. On a highway. On the highway. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, so pretty much every 10 minutes of driving, you're tossing four bucks into the gas tank. That's amazing, and that's just averaging 70, isn't it? Yep, 70 miles per hour. I think you can turn the air down a little bit. Down is in heat, like yeah. you want less heat. Uh, cooler air temperature, it's a little hot in here. There you go. getting up to 70 miles per hour. That was like $5 in gas right there. <laughs> <laughs> Any new comments, Nathan? Um, the Topher donated $5 hey, just hey, now. Wow, hey, that's awesome. Cool, well, we will pull over and do, pull out onto the side street and do a nice launch control. Sweet. That is pretty great. Thanks, Topher. Does this have a lane keep, keep assist and cruise control? It does, but super rudimentary. So like it's on right now and it's not really gonna hold me at all. I mean, it just kind of, it gives the slightest wiggle to the steering oh, wheel. Man. It's kind of like, hey, you're going out of your lane. <laughs> yeah. No, it's definitely no sort of autopilot-y kind of, kind gotcha. of system. Gotcha. Yep. Look how muddy this mirror is. <laughs> 
Yeah, this thing pretty much looked like a different color earlier today. It pretty much looked brown. In fact, if you're gonna buy a TRX and actually use it, you should probably just buy it in like tan or brown because that's the color it's gonna be most of the time. If you're gonna use it as in like... Use it off-road as it's intended. Off-road, yeah. Not just as a little mall grid or showpiece. I would like to get it in red or white so it's actually showing everybody how muddy it actually is instead of it blending in. It's a different way of looking at it. Yeah. Look at my truck. I got it dirty. <laughs> So sport, tow, snow, auto, custom, mud and sand, rock, and Baja. Baja. Where are you reading that from? Oh, ah, there it is. Hmm, there's a truck on the side of the road. Hmm. Maybe he's going to do a launch control too. <laughs> Would it be a good idea for Nathan to hold this to get the whole experience, or? Sure. Huh? Treja. Cool. Uh, all right. Is it showing enough from back there? Yep, the wind windscreen's a little bright, but we'll get the head throwing back effect. Yeah. to Alyssa. Maybe for another donation we'll sing to her. <laughs> that would be funny. Congratulations to Alyssa making it one more revolution around the sun. Mm -hmm. Has it been a good birthday so far? It has. Good. Yeah. It's been a good birthday. Any day that you get to ride in a 700 horsepower truck should be at least a decent day. It's fine. Much prefer the Tesla. It's, a right there. <laughs> it's hard not to prefer the Tesla. Yeah. Aw. Thank you, Abraham. It says happy birthday. Good. Wonder if NC Styles is here to wish you a happy birthday. <laughs> Abraham does want to know how the ride quality is with the shocks and tires all in them. You know, it's honestly, it's the type of ride quality where nothing comes through too harsh and everything's very solid, but you feel most of the bumps. I mean, it kind of just, mm -hmm. yeah. it's just like, it's just a constant sort of rough, you know, like subtle mm -hmm. up and down vibration. Yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. What else can you do in these performance pages? Shut the truck off and save a little fuel. So it looks like the best it's done, quarter mile in 12.6 seconds, top speed, or sorry, quarter mile speed, 79 miles per hour. Uh, braking, no, that's nothing useful. The coolest thing is we've been driving this thing hard this week and it's it's been fine. I mean, no check engine lights, no anything. You knock on carbon fiber that when we take it out to the dunes, everything's good too. But mm -hmm. we fully suspect it's going to handle it and take it. Yeah. 
Awesome. So just another $15 donations and we will toss this thing off road and get it good and filthy yep. before it goes back to the Topher. We got a 19 rupee donation from Bella DJ. Hey, Thank thanks you. Bella Dia. So $14, we'll round that up to a dollar. Appreciate it. Hope he's doing well. You can see even the interior of this has gotten dirty from uh, various mud and goodies. He asked how everything is going. Everything's going pretty well. It is. Yeah, it's I mean, going pretty well. again, when you're driving a TRX around, you know, it's... It's hard to complain about life. Right, yeah. yeah you yeah. gotta you gotta have, you know, yep. everything in relativity. Yep. Yes. Thank you, everybody, for the happy birthday wishes. Good. Any other comments? Uh, Goku saying, did you guys face any rattles on your Model Y driving while driving? Because my friend Tesla does that. Interestingly, we, we had a rattle when we first bought it, mm -hmm. but it's gone away. And don't know why. Yeah, we. Really. Th I think it's related to cold. I honestly think there was a little bit of ice buildup somewhere in there from washing it and stuff, and now it's gone. Could be. Yeah. yeah, it's really solid now. Yeah, the mm -hmm. uh, hatch door rattled a lot. And you oh yeah, that. that's true. But anyone with any sort of lift back vehicle, we faced this with our Kia Stinger at Car and Driver as well. Sometimes you have to adjust the little stoppers so that the the, the hatch sits evenly and doesn't kind of create a subsonic boom anytime you go over a bump and kind of create an air pressure difference in the cabin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. we fixed that as well and it's been pretty smooth. Yeah. Suspension seems to have kind of uh, settled itself in a bit. Mm -hmm. All of us think it rides a little smoother. I mean, it could be a placebo, but uh, but we do think in the warmer weather and with the shocks kind of being broken in, it rides better. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. Anything else? We are good. Cool, let's get out and take another look. <laughs> Bella Dia called me Eli. <laughs> That's awesome. What do you think about this color, Nathan? It's a little boring for me on a truck this expensive. I would personally go with either the red or the blue or... I agree. It's like the least mean looking color. Yeah. Which is kind of a shame because if this thing were all black, it would look menacing. If it were red, it would look showy. Even a white would kind of be like flashy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I get some people would rather kind of blend in. And maybe that's smart when you're making this much noise, <laughs> but no, I would get something. You, Alyssa, you said you'd get red or white. I'd get red, yeah. What sure. would you get, Nathan? Either red, white, or blue. And the thing is, is Ram makes a ton of cool colors. Uh, Stellantis is one of the best brands for paints. They have all sorts of cool things. They even have cool names like Hellraisen and... Hellraisen! Uh, just, I have not... If anyone, any other uh, people know in the comments, like the cool color names for, for uh, Chrysler vehicles, let us know. But they've got a lot of really cool ones. Yeah, look at these big meaties. Nathan noticed when we first got it that they were pretty chewed up, these tires, and now we understand why. <laughs> yeah. People have probably been... Off-roading quite a bit. Yeah, and just ripping it on-road too. I mean, if these are the original tires that have come with the truck, that's actually pretty impressive. Goodyear Wranglers. Yep. Got a nice TRX badge on the back, although it's probably a little tough for you to see in the sunlight. Oh, we still have a plastic piece from a uh, from a, another vehicle that we picked up somehow. It got uh, it got lodged up in the suspension, and you can see right here it was uh, rubbing against the ground as I drove at the end of the winding road test drive and, and wore itself down. This was going through a huge puddle in the off road section that we'll go on to if we hit twenty dollars of total donations. Um, any idea what vehicle that could have been from? Do you see any sort of stamping? Yes, I. Uh, yeah. Maybe we could look up the part number and figure out. Chrysler. Huh. It is a Chrysler? Yeah. Maybe it is from this truck. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's possible. Where I would it be from though? I know, yeah. I... Come, bring it up to the front. See if there's any possibility it could like even fit. I mean, the only thing I could think is something way underneath, but why would they bother putting something like that? <laughs> I don't see anywhere that could go. Maybe in the back? Made in Canada. And what, did somebody have like a town and country back there or something? Because they, they produced the journey in the town and country in Canada. We'll have to put in that part number. That's kind of neat. Yeah. In fact, I'll do it later on the live drive. Yeah, 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 you can do that. Uh, go grab your phone right now and take a photo of it uh, so that you can get it when you're in the back of the car. Or, or I can read the number to you too if you want. Get it right up there at the top. Any comments, Liz? Bradley's wanting to know, out of four cars, what you would recommend? A 2021 Suburban, a Yukon XL, an Expedition Max, or an Armada? 
Probably the Yukon. We're actually driving a Yukon Denali next week. We're Ooh. trading this for that. Ooh. So that'll be really nice. Yeah, 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 it's the diesel too, so that'll be really Ooh. good. Yep, like diesel Yukon Denali. Right. Uh, the expedition's good, but I don't know. I feel like the Yukon's probably better, although I wasn't very impressed with the Escalade, so. But probably not the, Ar although the new Armada does look pretty sweet. Have you yeah. seen that? Yeah, I saw one in person the other day. I was like, what is that? So that's cool. All right, should we get back to driving? Yeah, I guess, but just wasting fuel. But yeah, go for it. I'll let, you can drive. All right. Liz, you want front or back? I'll be in back. Okay. You're right. This is a live drive, not a live stand. And it's a t Ram TRX. <laughs> rum, rum, rum. We should also, uh, I'll do a quick, don't rev it up too loud, but just give me one or two good blips for people who didn't see it earlier. Okay. <laughs> This thing sounds like a straight up trophy truck. Like you're just about to go rip through the dunes or something if you're a Baja trail. Moran's in the chat. Hey, hey. Moran. Another 700, 700 horsepower vehicle that's less powerful than his car. <laughs> <laughs> Good, well, Pittsburgh man might not be able to get free for this chat, but it's a nice little focus there. And a nice rebel. The normal rebel was just kind of meh. Yeah. You know, like I don't know who would bother putting money that into versus one. Versus a Raptor. Yeah. I mean, I mean, no. Are you directly comparing it to this thing? Because the only other thing that would directly compare is a Raptor. No, but for so many years, Ram made the rebel, and it was like, ooh, that's supposed to be a cool truck. And I was like, eh. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it, it took them long enough to come out with this TRX. And don't get me wrong, they did a great job with it, but. Ford was just printing money with the Raptor for like almost a decade before Ram got around. And I don't know what Chevy's doing. It would be so easy for Chevy to put the ZL1 motor in a truck and make it even, even like, yeah, no, use the ZL1 motor. Put the, put that one, the blown uh, motor in a Silverado and make a performance truck. And they could print money too, but they just haven't. Are you going to try to uh, best my, yeah. best my time? What was the last time it was four point? I think 4.3, yeah. 4.4, four, four, something like that. Nathan's going to do another launch control, even though no one's donated, but he well, wants- five dollars. Oh no, Belladia date, Jay did. Yeah, yeah you're yeah, right. That's right. This is, this is for you, Belladia. All right. Oh, that was a good one. 3.9. That's a good that, one. That gripped. <laughs> that really, that yeah, really gripped. For a second I was really worried there. Did you hurt your hand, Nathan? I did hurt my hand when I clapped. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Ooh, baby. The one thing the TRX is not capable of doing is cornering well. So you do still have to slow down quite a bit. But what's fun is when you're, uh, when you slide the rear end out, it, uh, it, it, it'll drift. Were you even in uh, auto mode? Or um, sport yeah. mode? Uh, yes, I was. Okay. You can beat it. Uh. You're in a TRX. No one's going to go up against you. Ah! What we need is that Challenger, or the Charger and the Camaro to come up on us again. See if yeah. we can stomp them. Would Three. they know? I wonder if they would even know what this is. I feel like the presence that it carries, you kind of know. I mean, <laughs> like, you, okay. yeah. Nathan and I came up on some hillbillies in the woods uh, the other day. Did you actually? Yeah, some degen teenagers who had gotten their F-250 horribly stuck in the mud, like just gone. Did you help them? No, not at all. Um, <laughs> they said they had a digger coming to pull them out, but uh, they even they knew. They were like, is that the TRX? Look and, at this car completely stopped. Yeah, you're about to get butt munched if you don't get out of my <laughs> Who says this thing can't corner? Uh, physics? <laughs> I think that's awkward so completely. <laughs> I'm really scared. <laughs> the paddle shifters are interesting because they're split in the middle. Oh my goodness, get oh. out of my... <laughs> he wants oh. to honk so bad. Huh? I don't even need to honk. You've got an engine. Charlie, tell 
Goku Boku, what car Moran has? Moran's got a GLS 63 with a tune, putting almost n over 900 horsepower to the wheels. 910. Yeah, it's pretty bonkers. Bradley, or er, sorry, Nathan. <laughs> What was that? If you would ever replace your Taurus, what would you replace it with? A Kia oh. Stinger? It depends on what I need at the time. Uh, something in this in a similar class, I would probably go with Challenger Hellcat. That's a similar class? I what? mean, similar type of vehicle. Sedan. Yeah. I mean, technically it's a coupe, but like, big, not SUV. American. Yeah. Got it. Kind of normal car with a big engine in it. Yeah. Should I go back in there or should I do another lap? Uh, do another lap and then maybe go down to the highway portion or something. But anyway, the, the paddle. Ah! Darn it. Oh, that the paddle shifters are split so that you can still get to the, uh, the the volume controls on the side. They can still do the steering wheel mounted and they split the paddle shifters. I don't think I've ever seen that before. It's pretty nifty. That was life back there. It's good. Yeah? Yeah, you got now tons I'm just going to hold on to. I'm literally holding on to That's the true. headrest right here. <laughs> I'm curious if we're up here, if I can do a better launch than even that. On the cleaner pavement? What is that? Oh, Plastic. Is that the thing around? I will say you were downhill or uphill. 3.9 again. So I bet if you're going the other direction, it would probably be like 3.8 because it's downhill. Did I go that way from the highway portion? No, that way. And then around again, you take a right. So I will say. We need to get this donation here quick in order to go off road. That exhaust pot. I know. If we don't get the donation soon, we're gonna have to abandon the off road driving because we need to get this truck up to the Topher. So let's get those donations in quick. If we break $20 or just another, just $10 total on the Cash App, so another seven bucks on Cash App, we will head off road. There he is. There's one. One of the chargers we've seen around today, Scout yeah. Pack. Mm -hmm. All right, would one of you be so kind to be on cop watch coming out of here? Yes. Oh no, I don't want to be in the middle. Dude. You're good. generation where I see a Crown Vic and immediately freak out but then I remember like oh wait they don't use Crown Vics anymore. Right? My heart dropped for a minute. <laughs> Goku was the one that said he can't donate because he's not 18 and Cash App is not supported in his country. Oh no. Okay. What country? Okay, man. What country is he from? Yeah. I'm oh uh, he might have said earlier. Okay. Bummer. He just said um, the Armada is popular in the Middle East. Ah. Uh. Audi fanboys in the chat. Hey. hey. Belladia says one of my customers came to me for diamonds to fit inside the Mercedes logo on the steering wheel. Wow. That idea. That's nuts. That is insane. I'm 
Marana is saying top speed test went great at ninth gear hit, uh, ninth gear hitting 243. Holy, Holy cow. cow. It was sketchy but fun at the same time. I don't know how else you're gonna describe that. That's amazing. 243 in a three row SUV. <laughs> it was in a highly undisclosed location at 3.45 a.m. Wow. And it took 14 miles to hit that kind of speed. Dude, wow. are you in like Germany? No, you know you're the not, desert. Like, I, I feel like he's got to. That gotta, makes more sense. It's got to be in the desert. He's at, he's out in Arizona, isn't he? I think so. I know. Yeah, I know. I think Yas is as well, but I, I think they both are. Um, yeah, there are some roads out there that are just so long and straight. I mean, that's where who was it, Nathan? Uh, who closed off the road to do a top speed test? Was it Koenigsegg? Um, no, it was like those old guys. I know Top Gear. Top, Gear did top Gear's done it a lot. I um, think Koenigsegg with the uh, Agera are. They did that out west. Yeah, out west. They closed off a, a, um, like a desert road and, and did the test. Goku is out of Dubai. Ah, well, we will have to get a Dubai friendly donation. And we appreciate it. And maybe we'll count a few dollars of donation for you anyway. We have to find out what services are. Yeah, I really should just do PayPal. I mean, yeah. PayPal would make the most sense. Yeah. I need to get around and doing Goku, a daily motor. Do you PayPal. have PayPal or Venmo in, in Dubai? Let's know. Diamonds in the dashboard look cool. It says Audi handbook. I bet. Oh no, this is gonna be ridiculous. No, he's not gonna be able to go that fast. Okay. Slipping and sliding. We're just going straight, right? Yeah, you stay on the right. <laughs> I like to use a right blinker to show people that I'm not going to get over. So my brother just texted me. My brother Chris says his brother-in-law has a Raptor, and he's not a fan of it because it seems to be in the shop more often than on the road. Really? That's yeah. sad. Yeah. Huh. You can go to the, uh, we'll take a right and go back behind the warehouse. Okay. They do have PayPal. Goodbye. I could give them, uh, you could, you could give them my PayPal. Your email? Yeah. Do you want to do that on live right now? Sure. Okay. You want me to type it in? Yeah. The Roz Grease one. So as we said earlier, not necessarily the best highway cruiser, but at least it's got heat and cold seats and Alcantara, and decent and comfortable, comfortable seats. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight four two six. Yes. Did you know? Just a few dollars more, we'll toss this thing through some mud. We'll even we'll have Alyssa or Nathan get out and film it from the outside. I don't know if any of you saw our short. That was that was some of the coolest footage we've got in a while with the water spraying around. It's left, right. Left. Yep. I thought that was compromised. Gotta be cautious. <laughs> it's not in the right gear to throw the <laughs> rear end out. No. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be interesting out in the dunes because we're gonna have to really be hanging on, and it feels bigger than the Raptor. It doesn't feel quite as playful. <laughs> Best schemo says, hey guys, thanks for this, been waiting 90 years. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of people have been waiting for the Rebel TRX to come out. Shout out to my buddy Max, who's planning on buying one of these. It's going to be his oh baby. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. been waiting for this thing. This is like totally him. Between this and a Viper, that's like those are his two, two favorite cars. Once you get this into Baja mode, you don't feel anything. Yeah. And the, the like... The suspension's all tight and everything, and then it gets all wallowy and all that. Mm -hmm. Normal shifter, which is something you don't see in any of the other Rams. Usually they're the little shifter right up here, but instead they put the drive modes and four-wheel drive modes there, and then a big old normal shifter. Yeah. Moran's actually in LA. It was one of the highways in California. Ah, uh, okay. Wow, that's impressive. Who's the guy that's in Scottsdale? Area? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, let's do one more look around. So 
we got it dirty, but we will get it nice and dirtier. Just a few more donations. We'll have some fun. But we've already had a good amount of fun with it, so it's uh, we know it can do it. It's just so good looking. Mean. If you drove this around daily, it would just be something that everyone would just get out of your way. Ram. Nathan pointed out earlier that one exhaust tip is black, another exhaust tip is silver. So that's just price or quality for you, you know? <laughs> Either that or somebody broke it off in there. No, we'll just take this, jam it in there, and it'll be fine. All right, look at those Bilstein Ram Active Terrain Dynamics oh, TRX Blackhawk E2. Oh, let me take a look. <laughs> I could do maintenance on them from in here. We'll yeah, just that. There's so much travel. That's ah. Neat. You want to be in the front again? Sure. Cool. I like this. <laughs> Even though you can't hold on. There's just so much foot space back here. Not like I need it. But... Right. Charlie, do you think you can beat my zero to 60 time? Well, we will find out. The thing is, the longer we drive, the less fuel is in it, so it gets lighter, and then, uh, you know, <laughs> the go faster. Be. Right? There's a very lazy turning ratio, that's for sure. It can get, looks like three and a half, or so maybe four turns lock to lock. Uh, maybe it's just three. Still, quite a lot. May I take that? Sure. Well, actually, I'll do a little POV for people. What it's like behind the wheel. Well, you know, one thing I always worry about when we're doing this type of type of stuff is, so say Charlie's driving and he's hoonigating around. Hoonigating. Yeah, and someone calls the police, then we <laughs> switch, and then I'm driving, and they're like, what are you two doing? Or what, what type of driving was that you were doing? I'm like, oh gosh. To be fair, it, they can't use just someone calling in as yeah. like, you know, enough to give it a ticket. Then you could just call anybody in. Yeah. Charlie, would you take this or the Raptor? I would take this over the V6 Raptor, but once they come out with the V8 Raptor, I don't know. Because I, I, as much as I appreciate this truck, I was telling Nathan earlier, I haven't really bonded it with it very well. It's, huh. there's a disconnect for me. The mixture of, Nathan likes how luxurious it is inside, but I think it feels weird for a sport off-road truck to feel this nice inside. And the characters just doesn't seem to be doing it for me. So mm -hmm. I, I would be tempted to take a Raptor still. And I'm, I'm excited to drive the new one. What about you, Nathan? Um, I would take this over a Raptor and probably even a V8 Raptor just because of the power mainly. And what if the V8 Raptor makes more than this? <laughs> I don't think it's going to, but I also do in general like Rams more than F-150s. Interesting. Modern Rams at least. Huh. That'd be pretty cute. You guys could be the brothers that have a Raptor and then the TRX. <laughs> you would honestly always race each other. Yeah, that's true. It's so loud back here. It's so loud, and it's so loud behind. Liz, we'll have to have you try standing behind it when we rub it up I sometime. I believe you. It's, it's ear-splitting. Irresponsibly ear-splitting. <laughs> what are you trying to accomplish? I am trying to get back to the performance pages. Oh, yeah, there you go. They're really deliberately there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Uconnect infotainment system is pretty good. I honestly prefer the smaller screen for the RAM. I don't think this big screen adds much, but meh, it's it's still good. Has there ever been a Trackhawk on the channel? I can't remember. Mm, nope. Trackhawk's actually one of the few I've never driven. <gasps> really? Yep, never okay. driven a Trackhawk. Zeskimo is actually asking if you'd ever do that. Well, if we get a chance to get one, usually they don't put the vehicles in the in the uh, press fleets unless they're new or dramatically redesigned or something. I see. But if we get a chance, definitely do one, but no, we haven't had a chance for recently. There you are. So, last call for off-road donations, or else we're going to head on up and get this truck to the Topher. Are you gonna try and? Yeah, I'll see what I can do here. Oh, no, just kidding, it's a beer. See, the last one, 3.9. Yeah, I don't know, would you, would you
would you would you if you had the money would you daily one of these no no i agree Typically we do this driving and you know, there's a little bit of tire squealing or something like that, but nothing as loud and as repetitive as this thing has been. <laughs> Not only that, but we had a Hellcat Durango last week. So it's just been constant, just, just supercharger whine, the exhaust note. So hopefully they appreciate it. I'm always worried we're pushing our luck a little bit. Right. What's up, Liz? Coco tried to donate really hard and his parents were like nope uh, don't worry man we're just happy to have you on the chat yeah yeah definitely we appreciate it and for all of you watching you'll notice that there are no uh display ads you don't have to click through any ads because i don't like to run ads on our live drives i mean they're on the side but you know there's none of the like ads you have to skip um because i don't want you all to miss anything so yep. that's why we ask for donations trying to make up for that a little bit no ads yep moran says after the top speed run he did an emergency brake test to zero miles an hour and because of that his garage smells like actively on fire brake. <laughs> <laughs> I know a way I could beat it. How's that? More, more on the tires at first. Possibly, but I don't. I don't think grip is the problem. Well, because it does spin a bit, and that when I got okay. the perfect one, it was um, like both those last ones, the grip was pretty solid. Asking That's us to do us math. A million dollars. <laughs> oh. Million sounds right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, the other thing, the wind's blowing from that direction. So no. <laughs> huh. When you got something this large, you have to take a lot of wind into consideration. Well, Lydia, Charlie has been to Germany. Yep. He's asking who's been to Germany. Huh. You have. I think it's probably just me. Nathan's been to France, but not Germany. Right. And England. Yeah. And Portugal. Right. And the Netherlands. I just meant for like a country that's close. Yeah. You know, right next to it. But yeah. Alright, this pavement's a little more broken up. We'll try one more time here.
You can kind of hold the camera up near it and they can hear it. Supercharger when the windows are open. It's pretty much only when they're closed. The suburban looks. Yeah, it looks ridiculous. Super weird. <laughs> it's trying to go for a transformer look. So stupid. <laughs> it's got a bunch of dents all over it. Yeah, it's like, oh, our truck looks like crap. How can we make it look better? Well, let's put chrome strips all over it. Right. It's a nice ramp. It is a nice ramp. It's a limited, I think. Long bed too. Drive 
washboarding effect or anything. Right. That's super nice. Forgot I had it in manual mode. <laughs> can we annoy the residents? <laughs> oh man. It's also probably better to just see it outside, see the car actually doing donuts instead of just being in it. We're ready. Maybe I should back up. It's 
the smoke is purple. Just the ridiculousness of a giant pickup truck <laughs> leaning to one. one entire side as it spins around. It's so loud too. It's like donutting a planet. Yeah. It was so loud. <laughs> I bet it was, Liz. I wanted you to experience how loud it was. Yeah, it was amazing. Belladia says a big advantage of having a truck is that cops don't believe it can go that fast, but it does. That is a good point, actually. Yeah. Yeah, if they, someone called uh, a vehicle is out doing donuts. They're probably gonna be looking for the next, the, like that next white challenger. Yeah, the white yeah. challenger that was parked in the parking lot. Oh, were you doing donuts? No, I oh, swear I wasn't. <laughs> and the other thing is, this is this does not have a two wheel drive mode, so those are four wheel drive donuts. Oh my gosh! Yeah, is that the same black pickup truck? No, no, that was all. Oh, yeah. smell would be doing an emergency stop at top speed with a TRX. Intense. Yeah, and the brakes would probably Intense. be gone by the end. <laughs> yeah, they'd be dead. Yeah. Yeah. Andrew the Panda says, I like launch control. <laughs> we do too, Andrew. Yeah. We do too. And Mohammed's wanting, uh, he's wanting to know what your opinion is of the Cybertruck. Let me get the, oh, yeah. Uh, is, is it going to be enjoyable to drive like the TRX? I would imagine it would be even more so because yeah. instant it's gonna be wow. a better daily driver because it's gonna be smoother. I mean, even though this thing sounds awesome and it's fun and everything, when you're just trying to go into work or something in the morning, it it just takes a lot. It takes yeah. a lot of energy to, to drive it. Whereas the Cybertruck's still gonna be very smooth electric power, but well, you're not gonna be able to make the fun sounds that yeah. you can in this. The Cybertruck is more of a day, it's a, it's, it's a daily driver truck. That's yeah. what it's designed to do. Right. It's a nimble truck. Maybe, yeah, it'll probably it'll be more so than this at least. Yeah. But this will have much more off-road capability, high speed especially. I mean, a Cybertruck's not gonna have Baja mode. Right. Oh, it might. Might have you some know. extraterrestrial could, name for right, it. Right, Mars mode. That would be cute. Yeah, Rover mode. That's it. Yeah. yeah. So yesterday, you can set the cruise control and the all the way down to one. To zero. Zero. Oh, you're right. To I should have right. tried going below zero. Negative, <laughs> negative, start backwards. backing up. That actually kind of neat. And neat and dangerous. Say goodbye to Goku, guys. Bye, Goku. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate your efforts to donate. Yeah. We're going to wrap this up in about five minutes or so, but anything else you all would like to see, let us know. And uh, yeah, we'll be next back next week with a, a Yukon on Friday, the Yukon Denali. And. Um, on Tuesday, I believe it's the Volkswagen Passat. Ooh! Yeah. yeah so that'll be Couldn't fun. hang on to mine long enough. Nope. It's like a spare. Huh. Surprisingly, we don't have a signal around here. Uh, we'll get out in the parking lot. Once we get out the Oh, Lincoln Zephyr. I honestly thought the Zephyr name was kind of cool. Yeah. I like the Zephyr Yeah. Sorry, we're at... Oh, there we go. It's coming back. Sorry for the signal drop, guys. Strange dead zone. There was a Ram TRX on the back of that um, truck oh. going the other way. Cool. Some happy owner getting there soon. Hopefully it's not being towed. Yeah. Oh, it's a semi. Okay. What do you think between this and the Durango? What do you think was cooler? I think this would have to be cooler than the Durango. Yeah. The the brakes on that Durango were really hot. Yeah, those were weird. That those was not really confidence weak. inspiring. Right. Yeah. So for that reason, and that there were not many miles. Well, there. It was like five thousand. Five thousand miles on that Durango. Five thousand hard miles. Yeah. 
I've driven the Durango SRT Hellcat around a track and it managed. This yeah. trades any sort of road handling for off road ability. There is a policeman up there. I'm pretty sure. Is that why everyone's slowing down? Probably. Because you don't need to go below the speed limit. everybody so much for watching if you can hear this we're gonna end it here since our signal seems garbage and maybe Alyssa can chat in that we're ending things because of the signal too and we'll see you next week I'm Charlie from Daily Motor and as always drive on don't hit the button man must have been an accident yeah not yet <laughs>